Hello family, welcome back to the channel, home of the RLC community and home of the Patreon that offers the most value out there. Okay, if you want to head on over to the Patreon and sign up, you will also see our pin uh, pre-sales that we have posted. All right, and not only are you getting the, uh, the pre-sales and all of that other uh, good stuff, but you get the eight years of experience. Okay, my eight years of experience, whatever I know that you want to know, I will tell you, I will educate you. All right, so the links will be in the description and in the comments for that. And also, if you want to check out the merch, those will also be in the links uh, in the description and in the comments. The links will be there. Okay, remember, the goal is always to become self-educated and to one day become a nine-to-five dropout. Okay, so look, um, a lot going on with, with, with Shinja right now. Okay, so look, a lot of us have been talking about migrations. Okay, uh, we've seen a lot of success with migrations uh, recently. Now, one of the projects that we are looking at and one of the projects that we want to uh, grow, and when I say grow, I mean grow out of heavy supply is Shipnobi. Now, Shipnobi is sitting at 13 zeros, okay? Uh, now, I know that a lot of individuals out there, okay, I know that we love the, the multiple zeros. We think it's the fastest way uh, to, to riches and all of that stuff, but this is actually becoming a problem okay it's becoming a problem for uh centralized exchanges out there okay now and we are also talking about centralized exchange uh systems since uh centralized ex exchange processing systems out there okay now we all may think that a lot of these um top tier uh you know centralized exchange systems are grade a but the thing is this they are not equipped to handle multiple zero projects okay projects like uh shinja with 13 zeros they it just carries too much supply okay now this much supply right here will jack up a system on any of, of these exchanges we're talking about bottom tire mid tire or uh top tier, tier exchanges okay uh so what will happen if shipnobi uh went the same route as vault what if they did a migration okay now as stated you know they have a huge supply we already know that now the max supply is um is, is like 69 sextillion remember it always fluctuates okay um and we already know when you get into like the sextillions and all of that that's 21 zeros right there that is huge now even though you know they have still burnt like 50 cent of the uh 50 percent of the supply okay they still have around you know 33 sextillion in circulating supply okay now the current price is around what uh up here 13 zeros two okay now uh you know it was recently 14 zeros but they knocked off a zero all right now um you know before the recent pump because there is a pump going on now now before the recent pump shinja did struggle to gain traction mostly from you know uh the impatient sellers or you know and the sellers investing less okay this also affected you know the daily volume because the daily volume was down for a while okay now uh, another thing going back to the multiple zeros now shinja had a lot of exchanges lying up at one point there were a lot of excitement going on about that and some of the, the, the unfortunate thing is this some of those exchanges they came back rejected okay and and the supply just did not work for them after testing it and and those were you know we're talking low to mid tire exchanges now the pump is looking great now it is a, a nice little pump going on uh, now the road to uh seven <coughs> sorry about that the road to uh 70k uh holders is still going strong and social media is also becoming a good catalyst not right now if you go look over on twitter they have a whole uh, thing going on with the, the giveaways and all that. But the thing is this, we're going to need these exchanges to ob obtain trade and value because the individuals right now, after this project pump, a lot of those investors are just going to dump back down. Okay, so we need those exchanges. And we need those, uh, uh, in order to get those exchanges, we need the decimals to be changed. Just look at coin market cap for a, a minute. Okay, look at them. Now, look, I'm not making any excuse for a coin market cap. They suck. We all know that. But, you know, one of the issues that screws them up a lot is they continue to uh, uh, list a, a lot of these multiple zeros projects, okay? It's also a reason why they can never th keep things uh, updated. Just one reason why they can never keep things updated, which is actually laziness on their part, okay? If you're not willing to update a lot of these newer projects, 
why list them? Okay, but you know, uh, multiple zero projects assist in technical issues. Now, another issue is the lack of, you know, uh, not enough auto burns for uh, Shinju. Now, we've seen, uh, you know, we've seen with Doge how important this is. We've seen with Sheep how important this is. Even Vault is starting to build this into their project. So, uh, you know, more auto burns will actually work wonders. Now, Cliff did say, okay, uh, he has no plans to migrate and i know the investors did not want to hear that now me myself i don't see why he wouldn't okay but at the same time i want to be fair here I, I i will not pretend like i know you know what it takes to do a migration okay i will not pretend that i know what it takes okay they may not be in position to do a, a migration right now so with that being said i cannot be reckless of one situation out there especially if i don't know the whole story Okay, we have to be mindful of that. But, you know, what if they did do a migration? Let's look at that. Okay, so what if we uh, took, like, the max supply, which is 69 sextillion, and it will be divided by uh, 1 billion. Now, we could use the circulating supply, but we will just use the max supply. Now, with the max supply divided by 1 billion, okay, that would give us around, uh, I think, around 69 trillion or something like that. Okay, it will also put the market cap around like uh, 75 million. This will put Shinja at around five zeros one, five zeros one, nearly where Vault started after migration. Do you know how big of a change that is? Killing eight, t killing eight zeros. Okay, will put Shinja where they need to be, respectively. For you know, and um, for those changes, okay, it, it, it will put them where they need to be respectively okay now remember also uh your value will stay the same okay you will not be like a trillionaire or anything like that so um the tokens you have okay if a migration was to happen the tokens you have will also be divided okay which will keep your value the same okay but shinja okay if, if a migration didn't happen shinja would have a great greater chance at hitting that one cent mark in like the the three to six year mark they would okay because they already have a lot of those other catalysts coming okay do we see how important migrations can be all right now uh also going back to like uh, auto burns and all that okay a migration will provide more auto burns okay it will pr provide more auto burn mechanisms for every transaction now these burn portions uh also uh these burn portions for a buy and sell transaction they would also be sent to like dead wallets or anything uh, uh, I mean, I said anything. It would also be uh, sent to like dead wallets. Okay, so uh, uh, the migration helps. Okay, the migration helps. And with that comes uh, low supply. Low supply helps. Uh, more trading volume, okay, uh, will come along. More exchanges will come. Uh, exchanges will not have to adjust to the project. Okay, and the one set could be possible in like the next four years or four to six years or something like that okay now um i'm not crazy for like the also i'm not crazy for like tokenomics and all of that stuff but a new uh contract with better tokenomics okay you cannot go wrong there okay especially uh, uh for a project that holds a big supply okay now um the the bsc chain launch will provide good results but imagine what can happen if they had a migration right after the launch do you know that the big effect that will have on the big positive effect that that will have on uh, Shibnobi? It will have a great uh, effect on Shibnobi. It will line them up good. Okay, we are talking uh, cheaper tokens also, and we are talking like cheaper fees and all of that stuff too. So you'll have more individuals coming in buying. Um, but uh, like I said, I won't jump the gun on on any of this stuff. You know, uh, there's a chance Cliff. Uh, goes the trend there is still a chance okay and me i will just keep my eye on it so remember every now is history tomorrow and you either have patience in this investing game or lose in the end and this is my video audi